A weather alert tonight. Single digit frigid temperatures combined with falling snow. Drivers might want to be extra careful on the roads tonight. We are already seeing accidents out there. We have team coverage for you. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera tracking the storm's path from Colorado's Weather Center. Dylan Thomas is outside the Mobile Weather Lab at northbound I 25 near 58th. Dylan, oh, looks like it's picked up the traffic there. Uh, if five miles an hour is picked up, Kathy, that might be the case. Uh, right before we checked in with you guys at five o'clock, I was telling you about how the conditions were perfect out here and that driving was okay as well. But since then, there has been a crash just about a mile away from where we are right now that has pretty much brought uh, the traffic, excuse me, to a close. Three degrees outside as those of them behind me are waiting in traffic going all the way up to 58th and I-25. There's a collision in the right lane shutting down traffic. We're also seeing a lot of the plows out here driving around but they're not putting their blades down yet. They're putting down that pre-treatment to make sure that the ice uh, doesn't solidify overnight as easily. CDOT putting out a warning saying that there is going to be plenty of ice out there, so make sure to slow down. It's these type of conditions we're going to be seeing as the ice continues throughout the night. So once again, we're here at 58th I-25 intersection. Most of the traffic almost at a standstill, if not five to six miles an hour. We're told a right-hand lane crash will stick here for the foreseeable future. Also, make sure to bring in your pets everybody some fines up to a thousand dollars if you don't bring in your animals because it's freezing out here and obviously they need some warmth as well kathy we'll send it back to you